What's up my beautiful Rose? Beauty Maniac here with an NFL update. Now this is interesting for sure because I didn't expect to do anything on the NFL until the last season, last preseason week where I could go over the notable cuts and stuff like that. But the Bills have decided to push my schedule forward. So I'm like, okay, okay. The Bills have traded star often injured wide receiver to the Los Angeles Rams to help out Jared Goff, which is nice. And what they get in return for that is cornerback EJ Gaines and the Rams' second-round pick. They did also have to give up a sixth-round pick, but to get a second-round pick and a cornerback is not bad because they do need cornerback help when they got rid of, well, when they didn't match Stephon Gilmore's contract. And in a separate trade, which is kind of funny, they gave up a cornerback for a wide receiver which is kind of weird in a sense because they traded with the Buffalo uh, the Buffalo Bills traded with the Philadelphia Eagles Jordan Matthews for Ronald Darby and a 2018 third round pick now I don't understand why the Bills would do this because Ronald Darby is a really talented cornerback and they're giving up a third round pick for Jordan Matthews who admittedly is a really talented receiver but if but he's basically just replacing Watkins so you're giving up basically Darby for EJ Gaines which to me is just such a loss in the secondary I don't know if the Bills are trying to start a rebuild with all these draft picks or not but kudos to them and kudos for the Eagles for picking up a killer cornerback and kudos for the Rams for picking up a really solid wide receiver I overall I'd rate this um trade of a B can't tell until the regular season and also, in other NFL news, star of running back Ezekiel Elliott of the Dallas Cowboys has been suspended six games for his, um, I don't know if it's for the domestic violence investigation or if it's for his other behavior, but I believe this punishment might not have been so severe if the Cowboys even bothered to try to punish him for his recent behavior involving, including going over 100, or going 100 miles an hour and got a speeding ticket. Cowboys did nothing. Pulling down a woman's shirt in public on video in a parade. No punishment for that. And then the alleged assault, which I'm not going to comment on that because I don't know if he did it or if he didn't. But those other two things, he should have been punished a long time ago. Six games, I think, is a little drastic if it's just for those two things. But the league doesn't like having people in the spotlight for those issues, so... Whether he's guilty or not, chances are he probably would have been suspended for that anyway. Because Cadell is a hard ass and nobody likes him. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I promise you, I won't have a weird game like this going in the background again. Hopefully, unless something major happens. So, bear with me. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.